Hello, in this video I'm going to be covering the most common problems or issues that come up with our version 7 printer. So first issue is you try and move it on the touch screen and the touch screen works and nothing's moving on the printer. This can mean that the Z probe switch up here is being, or one of the other ones here on the X and Y, is constantly being depressed down. And that means uh, the control board thinks the printer is violating its boundaries. So to fix that, we're going to turn the printer off and we will move the X and Y rail into the middle here by hand. And this will take it off of these switches and you should give these switches a good click on both to make sure they're working. And then here on the back, we are going to unplug the Z probe switch. So this probe switch is now unplugged. We're going to boot the printer up. On the touch screen here, I'm going to press move. And on Z, I'm going to hit down. So this is bringing the Z down. Be very careful when you're doing this. this. These controls ignore the boundary violations. So you can crash the rail. If you hit up instead of down, it'll crash. I'm going to turn the printer off. I'm going to plug the limit switch back in. Turn the printer back on. And you should also, like I said, give this a really good inspection. Make sure this switch is actuating. You get a good click out of it. Inspect it for dust and debris. And then you can go ahead and try and uh, push the home all command. And there you go. Now the printer is moving. Okay, that was the main, one of the main things that causes the printer to lock up, the limit switch being depressed down. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a minor not a full board kind of reset, but a small reset. And we're going to take the firmware card out, power the printer on, let it boot up, power it off, put the card back, and then boot up again. And that's booting without the firmware card. So in order to do that, uh, you will need to take this whole black case off, or you'll be able to get the SD card out of the bottom Like so. So there's a little SD card, a hidden, hidden SD card that's underneath here. Uh, sometimes it is covered with a piece of aluminum tape, so you may have to take this black case off. Or if you're good with a little X-Acto knife, you can cut the aluminum tape and get the SD card out. So the SD card's out. Booting up. Turning off. putting the SD card back in and then booting up again and that fixes most issues it's uh, the control board just gets into a booting loop so doing this resets the board and let's try and do some movements there we go homeworks look good and then we'll try and move the Z down some And that's good. So that's in working order now. So if you turn the printer on and the menu's not working or buttons are missing uh, and you're, you're trying to push options and nothing is happening, then we can reflash the touch screen. This is mainly just to try and fix errors with the touch screen. So you get on an SD card to touch screen reflash files, which are available on our FAQ under touch screen reflash. And the files have to be exactly as they are mentioned on our FAQ uh, here on this SD card. You need two folders uh, filled with the files that are included in those folders. So one folder has files in it, a second folder has files in it, and then you have uh, an MKS file uh, by itself outside of those folders. And they have to be exactly as is. Put them on a fresh SD card with nothing else on it and put that into the side here on the printer. Oh, there's an SD card already in there. Let's take that out. Okay. 
insert, and then boot up. And then when you turn the printer on, the touch screen is going to say updating. There's a progress bar going across the screen right now, and that takes just a moment. It's now at 50% going across. Now it's at 99%, 100. Now it says uh, SPI, PIC, erasing, uh, flash, SPI flash, PIC erasing. And now it's running the update files. So files are being run and update. And it's going through file, 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 cycling. And you should see this on your touch screen. If you don't have this occur in this order, then maybe you need to uh, check the files on your SD card, perhaps format your SD card and put the files back on again. Make sure they're in the correct way that I said they need to be in the two folders and the one file outside of them. Now the printer is restarted. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to take this firmware SD card out and I'm going to put back my G code file SD card. And that is for fixing any errors with a touch screen. So we're going to try homing the machine again here. Home all works. Okay. Those are the most common issues with our printer. Uh, so I hope this video helped you out.